You know, given your experience in North America and given now your experience as it emerges in the Middle East and in Lebanon, tell us about some of the similarities and differences. Well, I think one of the similarities is uh, the, the fundamentals of a good institution, the fundamentals of, a, of an enterprise, of a, a business school, from a business school standpoint, are no different. I certainly believe that faculty form the fundament of everything uh, in any business school. You know, staff, uh, professional staff, but faculty in its grandest sense, how we uh, define it at ACSB is important. And that means the scholarly practitioners, the uh, instructional practitioners, uh, scholarly academics, all of them. I think they make a difference. And how we deploy our faculty is extremely important. And, and, and the same across institutions. But the, what they bring to the institution, I think, might vary from one place to another. We have to recruit faculty that are really prepared to embed themselves in the culture and the mission of that institution. When you're recruiting people to teach and to conduct research and involve themselves in a school in the Middle East, they have to be committed to that, to that, that appointment for what it means, for, what it, for the impact that you're hoping to have in the region. So you're going to follow the same fundamental practices of trying to ensure that you have realistic assumptions on both sides, that the candidates have a realistic view of what it really means to be an excellent scholar in the Middle East, in this case in Beirut, but at the same time that we have ourselves a realistic purview of, of what it means to have a quality candidate within standards that are going to fit within the demands that we place in our region and not try to create uh, a scenario of excellence that is determined or created by some other institution halfway around the world. Fit is certainly important and you can't simply fix it by changing the person's attitude once they've arrived. I like that fit first in some sense rather Absolutely. than uh, after. And I like what you said about the, the realistic uh, both job preview from mm -hmm. uh, candidates but also realistic job purviews if I heard it. Or do you, you know, how do we define the roles in that? We often try to get the largest pool of applicants we can and in the process lose sight of really what it is that we're trying to do. Is what we should have is a very, very focused pool of candidates. A pool of candidates that's based on realistic job previews, meaning that these people have decided to apply and continue in the application process because they've got a realistic view. We've given them honest perspective on what this institution is about, both the warts and the good things, what's good and what's not so good. And if they continue to want to be part of our institution, and this is something they understand and feel that they can fit, we have what we call a realistic job preview. And that the people who continue to operate with us under those conditions are probably good candidates. When we're honest with people and we're committed to giving them that information, realistic job previews, it might reduce the pool, but I think what we have are, are better people. But those are one set of expectations. The other set of expectations are the ones that we have. Of, of candidates. We can't change the world. We can't change the way people see their futures and how they want to participate in the world. We have to have what I call realistic job purviews. As an institution, we have to realize that not every candidate that graduates from an institution of higher learning with a PhD or a practitioner that brings an extraordinary amount of experience is going to be the type of person that should work for our institution and that we're going to be able to retroactively change their perspective, their sense of fit in an institution, simply to get what we consider to be an extraordinary candidate because of their qualifications and not their fit simply. So the purview is, is getting faculty, and even deans for that matter, to have a little bit more of a realistic view as to who we can attract and who will really fit into our institution. <laughs>